the big game might be postponed, but Berkeley students still have the opportunity to beat Stanford at the ballot box. So basically the Pac-12 voting challenge is this friendly kind of school rivalry based uh, competition that's aimed at increasing student voting, not only here at UC Berkeley, but also all across the West Coast. With over 450,000 college students attending Pac-12 schools, Miyako Iwata, Berkeley senior and founder of the Pac-12 voting challenge, hopes to make a significant impact on voter engagement amongst college students. For the first time, uh, millennials and Gen Z combined actually making up the largest eligible voting bloc here in the United States. And I think that this election is a really key opportunity for us as young people and also just as the most diverse generation um, in this country to make our voices heard, to get our issues on the table. Derek Amai, Berkeley senior and ASUC external affairs vice president, hopes this challenge makes voting exciting for students. We have so much at stake on our ballot and um, so many different spheres of our government will be impacted just by um, just the way that we vote. And so um, I just hope that people take the time to just look through all the different initiatives and, um, and take the time to vote because this year will truly be um, a very important year to vote. We're having students register to, to vote at a very specific link, which is like www um castudentvote.org and people who vote through that directly get counted as um, increasing voter registration for our specific Berkeley campus. It was really a group effort and being able to bring together the support of all these different schools has been amazing um, and we're all able to also share out best practices with each other. Leaders of the Pac-12 voting challenge are not only fighting to make election day a non-instructional holiday but they're even pushing to establish a safe and socially distanced polling place on campus. For Cal TV News, I'm Ratika Kupalm.